Hi, my name is Srini Venkatraman, and I'm the general manager for S3 on Outposts. In this presentation, I'll give a brief introduction to S3 on Outposts and how it can address some of your on-premises object storage needs. While companies continue to rapidly adopt AWS for agility and lower costs, we hear from our customers that some of their workloads need to remain on-premises. There are typically three main reasons why these workloads cannot easily move to the cloud. Low latency requirements, data residency regulations, and local data processing. Latency sensitive workloads need to generate near real-time responses to end user applications. These can include workloads running on factory floors for automated operations in manufacturing, real-time patient diagnosis, or interactive VR applications. There are other use cases that require data to be stored locally in a specific country, state, or municipality to meet security and data sovereignty regulations. Customers also run applications that process data locally for better control on data analysis, backup, and restore. We hear from our customers that instead of having different development and operational models for AWS regions and on-premises, they would like to use the same services and APIs to develop applications that can run in both the environments. AWS Outposts is a fully managed service that extends AWS infrastructure, services, and tools to virtually any data center, co-location space, or on-premises facility for a truly consistent hybrid experience. It's a fully managed service. The physical infrastructure is delivered and installed by AWS, operated and monitored by AWS, and automatically updated and patched as part of being connected to an AWS region. AWS Outposts supports a number of services locally, such as EC2 for compute instances, RDS for databases, and EMR for data processing. These services enable customers to build applications once and run them both in the cloud and on Outposts. One particular service that a lot of customers use is Amazon S3 an object storage service that offers industry-leading scalability, data availability, security, and performance. While customers can run applications on our outposts and store objects in Amazon S3 in AWS regions, for reasons that I mentioned earlier, there are workloads that need to store data locally on the outposts. Amazon S3 on outposts delivers object storage to customers' data center to meet those local data processing and data residency needs. You can also use S3 on Outposts to meet the latency needs by keeping data close to on-premises applications. S3 on Outposts uses the same S3 APIs on-premises as in the cloud for both bucket and object APIs. It supports a new storage class called S3 Outposts and is designed to durably and redundantly store data across multiple devices and servers on your outposts. Customers can select capacity from our five storage options, ranging from 26 to 380 terabytes of S3 storage. S3 on Outposts supports a wide range of security features, such as object and bucket level encryption, block public access, data access control using IAM, and object versioning. Customers can also use the same S3 APIs to manage their data using features such as bucket and object tagging, lifecycle expiration actions, cloud trail logs, and CloudWatch events and metrics. You can get started with S3 on Outposts by using the AWS Outpost Management Console. If you are a new Outpost customer, you can order S3 on Outposts by selecting an Outpost configuration that offers the amount of S3 storage that meets your use case needs. If you are an existing Outpost customer, you can just add S3 capacity to your Outposts. 
Once S3 storage is provisioned, you can use the AWS console or S3 SDK to create buckets and access points on your outposts. You can then use S3 APIs to store and retrieve objects from these buckets. S3 and Outpost also powers other services locally. Customers using RDS and EBS can also store EBS snapshots and RDS backups on the S3 capacity available on their outposts to meet their data residency requirements. To summarize, with S3 on Outposts, you can store data locally on your outposts to meet your data processing or data residency requirements. You can securely store and process your customer data generated on-premises before you move it to an AWS region. By using the same S3 APIs and tools, both in the cloud and on-premises, you get a truly consistent hybrid storage experience. I hope you found this S3 on Outpost overview helpful. For more information, please visit the S3 on Outpost product page. Thank you for your time.